Hello everyone, my name is Fire GB, and welcome back to episode 4 of my Ultra Hardcore Amplified Let's Play. When we left off, we finally found ourselves some diamonds, we got four of the damn things. I've smelted the iron and I also decided to do a little bit of renovation work. We've got some cobblestone walls now, some dirt floor, which will eventually turn into grass. So that's pretty cool. And basically, it, it just looks a little bit better. We've got a little bit more sugar cane now as well. And I'm pretty sure that has fully grown. So now we just got to wait for the old pumpkin to pop out, which is great. Oh my god. So in this episode, what I would like to do or try to do is make myself an underground tree farm or an underground tree farm because I think that would be a good idea. So, what are we going to need for this? We are not going to need the iron pickaxe. We're going to try and preserve as much of the stuff as we possibly can. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to make ourselves a stone pickaxe. And like so. Wait, is it daytime outside? Well, holy crap, it is daytime outside. Okay, uh, I can hear a spider though. Hello? I'm delving into the outside world. Hello? Does anybody want to come and kill me? Uh oh! Uh oh! He's hostile! Is he hostile? Can I take him? I might be able to take him. If he's stuck behind that tree, I might actually be able to get him. Yeah! Uh, don't take any health. Oh! Whew. Okay, thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Is there any more? Any more than that? No. Wow! Remind ourselves of the fact that this is an amplified world. Holy mother of God. That is awesome. All right, I guess while we're outside, we can go ahead and make the most of what we've got going out here. We can go ahead and grab ourselves some wood, like you do, because we're going to need it. So let's just try and get rid of as many of the trees around here as possible, because then, of course, that means we can see all the mobs that are coming to kills. Yes, indeed. Right, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and grab all of this stuff. Uh, we might get some birch saplings out of that. I hope so, because that'd be awesome. Right, so, yeah. Apart from that, everything has been going pretty damn well in this world. Still haven't lost any health. We're losing hunger, though, which kind of sucks. And again, we have to be mind mindful of the fact we can't regenerate health. Oh, man. So, just to remind you of the rules, I cannot craft a bed and I cannot craft armor. I can find armor and I can get it from the mob drops, but I'm not allowed to make it. So, basically, we're going to be living on low durability armor, which... Kinda sucks, but it's part of the challenge. Oh, there's a creeper over there. That's right, you walk over there. That's right, you just, you just go over there. Stay out of my way. Oh, there's a zombie over there. He's coming towards me. What do I do? <laughs> do I go in my house? Oh, I'm gonna go in my house. <laughs> oh, do you reckon I can take him? <laughs> okay, alright. Oh. Survive that. Alright, we're, we're doing pretty well. Okay, so. Oh my god. Like I said, we're going to try and make the most of the fact that it is daytime. What time is it? Uh, it's nearly midday. So let's just go ahead and eat that. Which now means we only have zombie flesh to live on. Which kind of sucks, I must admit. Right, okay. Let's see what we've got going around here. Right, there's a chicken over there. We need to kill him. Okay, oh good. All is good. All is good. We haven't. We're not going to die today, ladies and gentlemen. Not at all. We've got things to do. Hello. Like killing him, and his brother, and your mama. This is Mama Chicken. Mama Chicken's gonna die. Mama Chicken is nice. Look at you. Look at your wings. They would look nice on a dinner plate. God damn. Hey, buddy. And there's the father, obviously. So I've just killed an entire chicken family. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, what the damn shame. What the shame they all had to die. But it was for a good cause. And that, of course, that cause was, of course, to keep me alive. That sentence was a bit of a tongue twister. God damn. Right, okay. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. As long as we get back to shelter before it becomes dark, we should be all right. So, again, being mindful of the fact that if we take full damage, it will not come back. Right. Okay, now... <laughs> This is probably the highest in altitude we've ever gone. Hello? What is going on? Look at that! We've got floating islands and everything! God damn! Okay, there's another chicken down there. Oh god. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I should be able to make that waterfall. Should be able to make it uh, as many chickens as I could possibly get. That'd be a good idea. Okay, I'm taking a risk. I can't afford. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not killing me, water. 
Thank you very much. Okay. Good water. Good water. Thank you for not killing me. I do appreciate it. Oh, man. You've got no idea how much appreci I appreciate it. God damn. And talking of, uh, talking of appreciation, I appreciate the amount of support you guys have been showing for the series. I really do appreciate it. So, I just want to say thank you for that. So, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying this anyway. Please. Okay, so as I was saying, making the most of the daytime, trying to get as many things as we possibly can from the outside world. I think seeds would be a good idea as well. So if we just break a bunch of grass, we could probably get some seeds from that. Oh, hello, buddy. Hello. Thank you very much. There's loads of chickens around here. We've got eight chickens now. Nice. All right. We're not doing too shabby. Right. Okay. All right. What is up here? Hello. Ah, hey. Seed. Thank you, dude. Right, okay, what's going on here? Hello? Are you going to give me seeds? Are you going to kill me? You better not kill me. I hate more chickens. I reckon eight will do for now. I better spare some of the chicken population. Oh! Run! 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 No, 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 Ho <laughs> ho! Oh no! Alright. That's, that's our first proper encounter, I guess. Holy mother of god. Oh, hey, XP. Nice. Alright. Uh, we've got one seed. How many bits of grass have I broke to get one seed? That's not a very good ratio, my friends. Not a good ratio indeed. Right. Okay. Uh, no, none there. None there. Uh, okay, we'll get, we'll get one more. So we've got two seeds now. That's great. Oh man, I feel like a poor person just scrounging the ground for seeds. Hmm. Okay. Oh, right. let's get down here, shall we? Is there anything going on down here? Any mobs? No? Alright, all good, all good. Again, as long as you don't kill me, we should be absolutely fine. We can all get along as long as you don't hurt me. There we go. Alright, so we've got three more seeds. That's that's a great amount, actually. Not. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Oh, hey, we got our first pumpkin grown. Woohoo! I feel like a farmer. I feel awesome. Hey, buddy. All right. I guess we better harvest that. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Okay, you can go in there and we shall get a bit of coal. Don't eat the blooming spider eye. They poison you and hurt you as soon as you eat it. Hmm. So, yeah. Message of the uh, message of the day. Don't eat spider eyes. They're very nasty. <laughs> As in, like, really, don't do it. It's horrible. Right. Alright, we're going down. So, the tree farm is going to be underground. Rather predictably, because it's probably the most accessible place we can get to. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, we're essentially going to make a staircase going down to a large room, which will which will hold all the trees in. So, that'd be fantastic. So, if we just grab some of this, we should probably eat a bit of chicken. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure nobody will ever spawn down there because uh, we lit it all up pretty pretty nicely. So we should all be good there. We've got 12 levels now, which is pretty badass. If we can get some obsidian at some point, that'd be amazing. But then we still need some diamonds because we need a total of five. So three to make a pickaxe and then two to make the enchanting table. Indeed. Indeed. That should be... Uh, that's That could be a bit difficult, actually. God damn, it means getting near lava. Ho 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 ho! Lava! Lava is horrible. No one likes the damn stuff. Right. So we got that. Okay, so if we just go over here real quick, place some stairs down. There we go. All is good. All is good in the world of ultra hardcore amplified. That is a tongue twister in amongst itself, basically. Trying to say that ten times over when you're drunk. <laughs> I think you'll find it's very, very difficult. Except I wouldn't know, because I don't really drink alcohol. Because I hate the damn stuff. It's bloody awful. It's disgusting. God damn. No, it's not like I haven't tried it. I just absolutely hate it. I hate the taste of it. I physically don't like it. It makes me want to vomit. It's just awful. It's not the concept either. I just don't like it. So, yeah, that's a thing. Python GB does not like alcohol. That makes him a boring person. Well, at least my liver's going to last a long time. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. It's all good. It's all good. There we go. So, yeah, we're just digging ourselves out a big, big, big room. So, we can get ourselves a bunch of stuff going in here. Get ourselves a tree farm. So, we don't have to go outside all the time and risk the damn skeletons underneath the freaking mountains. God damn. That was scary, man. He literally just popped out of nowhere around the corner. <laughs> At least it felt like he did. God damn. 
That's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of, kind of scary. Right. Whatever the case, we're doing pretty well. Still haven't lost health. We're still doing pretty damn well. Right. Can we go one block higher, actually? We can indeed. All right. Good stuff. Okay. Whatever the case, we're doing pretty well. This tree farm is going to be amazing. We're, I mean, just for now, just for this, just for the sake of this episode and you guys seeing me build it, I'll just put enough space to do one tree, which will probably be like five by five by seven. So five by five in width and uh, length and then obviously seven blocks high because I'm pretty sure the room needs to be at least is it is it six five or six blocks high in order for a small oak tree to grow something like that I'm not entirely sure I can't remember but you know you still need a relatively large room oh hey iron all right that's, that's pretty cool I like that got some iron going in here that's always good always a good sign I should probably do that and that and if we just go, up, ah, there we go, a bit there. Uh, we probably need another pickaxe, actually. Uh, that'd be a good idea. Anyway, I've just thought of something. If we're not going to be using the iron for armor, then I see no point in not using it for tools. So, you know, what the hell's the point in storing it? And we might as well just use it. I mean, it's not as if we could die and then respawn back at base and just get some more tools out. When I die, I die. That's it. So... You know, it, it does bring up a fairly valid point. That being, what the hell's the point in storing these things? Just use them. <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. A little bit of that. The only thing is, we do not have bones or bone meal. Because, uh, you know, again, a bit too scared to go after skeletons at this point. We can't regenerate our health in any means at the moment. So, again, we have to bear that in mind. The only way of regening is with golden apples and, of course, health potions. And um, with health potions... I would need to go into the nether. And the nether is a very deadly place if you're doing ultra hardcore. So, uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do it eventually, friends. We are actually going to have to do it eventually. If we spawn over lava, though, I, I'm not even going to attempt to explore the nether if we spawn above lava. Because that would absolutely scare the living crap out of me. <laughs> oh, man. That is the one thing that genuinely instills fear inside of me. Lava. Very hard to get out of and very hard to survive. Unless you have armor. But I'm not allowed to make armor. So, uh, you know. I mean, the only way of getting diamond armor, for example, would be if we ever got a mob with diamond armor on it. And the chances of that happening are so incredibly thin that uh, you couldn't even walk across it if it was a tightrope. That, 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 was, a, that was a terrible saying. I'm so sorry. I'm a I'm ashamed of myself. Right, okay. Uh, birch sapling. Go! Grow! Do this thing for me, little bugger. Right, okay. I mean, obviously, off camera, I'll probably expand it a little bit. But bottom line is, I think... Got a tree farm with one tree, which is great. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! It looks stupid. I'll tell you what, let's just grab this while we were, shall we? There we go. Let's do that. Okay, so... How many is that? That's three. I can see another bit around there. Uh, four. Is there a bit up there? I think there is. How the hell did I just reach that? God damn. You can reach ridiculously far in this game. Right. There we go. Get all the iron to pop out. Hello. Why don't you do me a favor and grow? That would be amazing. That would be very helpful and I would appreciate you as a result of that. So, you know, if you could do that, that'd be awesome. Hey, buddies. Can you, can you give me another chicken? No? I think I care about that. Uh... Uh, uh, you, you son of a gun! Hey, 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 what, well, hey, no! Oi! Get back in. Get back in your pen, you little bugger! Get in there! Hey, no! 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 Are you really gonna do this to me? I, I, I can't go outside, I'm pretty sure it's dark now. Is it dark out? I bet it is. It is indeed. I haven't got any seeds and I really don't want to break these ones because I... Oh. I'm not gonna kill you either. I'm not gonna do it. You're not gonna die. Resisting the urge to kill you, it's... <laughs> it's a fairly hefty urge. I really want to kill you because you're disrespecting my orders and law. Alright. Oh, well, we still got two in there, so I guess... Oh, damn it. You stupid freaking chicken. I hate chickens. Such a pain in the butt. Right, oh, hang on, that's the wrong thing. That goes in there, doesn't it? There we go. All is good in the world of the ultra hardcore amplified world. And I guess on that note, it is time to win the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, it is time for me to go. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you guys next time.